Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. I just wanted to say something that I that I heard last night night during the Chup Kislev for bringing. And we were for bringing with Shalom Mordechai Rabashka. And then for those of you who don't know, he was a, he's a he's a great chassid who was put into jail. And he every day he had to choose good and be consistent with what he does. And he's somebody who when when he left jail, the inmates, this is what he told them. He, this is what he told me. You know, he said the inmates, they knew him as the guy who was always happy. Now, the question is, how are you happy in a place where you feel completely trapped? And this is what I want to go over with today, because uh, just recently, you know, I had uh, the ability to try virtual reality, right? And when you play the virtual reality games, you know what happens? You think you're there and you forget. I was playing ping pong and, you know, I'm like playing ping pong on this game. And I think the table is real because I see it. I see it. It's so real. That's what I believe. I believe the table is real in the video game. And what happens is I go and I, I try and get the ball and I lean in. And you know what happens? I fall and hit the, <laughs> hit the wall in my real room and I start laughing hysterically. But you know what happened? It's because I thought it was real that all of a sudden uh, it, it, that's what influences me because I think it's real. And, you know, if there's just a, a message I could give over, which, which really, I, this is what I'm, I'm searching out. I'm literally trying to figure out how does someone become the best and do what God wants of them completely? And the more and more that I see, it's that we have to see the world as something that we could use, but is not, not limiting us. In other words, we have an neshama, we have a soul, and the soul is infinite. And when we use the infinite soul, it influences the body in a direct way. And for example, it works the opposite as well. When we use our body, we could drag down our soul to a really dark level. And honestly, if, if a person is really involved in the world and they forget about God, it, it sucks. You feel everything as a pain. You then, you know, I was talking the other day to somebody and, you know, I told him, here's what I'm trying to accomplish. I'm trying to do these great things. And he's like, oh, it's so great. You're young and naive and the world is very hard. And I looked at him like, you don't get it. You must think the world is really real. Because if you think the world is real, then it gets really hard. But if you realize that everything is godliness, you can actually do so much more than you thought. Not only than you think, but, but I'm saying this is, what, this is what you're created for. You're created to do these great things. And it, well, whatever, I'm sort of going on a rant here. But again, it has to be so real. The godliness has to be so real. And then you could do whatever you want. And I'm, obviously, you have to do it in a good way. And, and this is what happens. You know, a person who is a leader has a lot of responsibility because they could choose to, to lead people in the wrong direction. But when you use this, this idea that you have this infinite soul inside of you and you tap into it and you realize the world is, is but a tool for you to, to work with, then all of a sudden you get to create your reality. You get to do the things that are good for you. And you get to really change the environment, change the world, be a leader. And it just... It's a domino effect of greatness. So guys, again, I, this is just a small message, but I feel that it's important to get out because I want people to know this. You know, and this is almost like a prep talk, even for myself. God is the real thing in the world. Even though that it exists, I'm not going to say that the world doesn't exist. The world is here for us to use the way that God wants us to use it, and therefore it doesn't affect us. It's only something that we can use. It's like a one-way relationship. We get to use it, and it doesn't hurt us. And so with that, guys... Please have a happy Thanksgiving and realize again that we need to give thanks to Hashem because it's Hashem that we need to treat with the utmost respect and we need to, we need to show him, hey Hashem, we're 110% with you and we're going to surprise you with all the things that we do. So guys, L'chaim, L'bracha and enjoy your day.